That, my friend, is a bear. Possibly two bears, actually. It's difficult to see from here, but if I know anything about bears, it's well, I know a few things about bears. One is that they're very dangerous and they might kill us. Um, but one of the other things I know about bears is that they tend to live in caves. Catch my drift. So, um, yeah. We're going to have to deal with the bears, is what I'm saying. Now, you remember what I said about you using the sword, yeah? Not hanging back and using the bow and letting the poor wizard get mauled to death by the bears, yeah? We're clear on that, right? Something on your mind? Any thoughts? I'm thinking, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this might be the last conversation I ever have. And that's a slightly depressing thought. If you need anything else, just ask. Okay, forget that. This. Do I need a top up of mead? No, I think I'm okay. All right, so, like I said, you sword me magic. Yeah, bears multiple. I thought so. Oh gosh. All right. Um, as I was saying, we need to be very, very, very careful because they're bears. All right. You ugly bear. Uh, uh, not good. Not good. Not good. Keep at it in a go. Good man. Good man. Right, that's one down. Well done. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Nearly got him. Really? Slaying bears? I don't know, mate. You do a lot of damage with that sword of yours, don't you? I'm actually quite impressed. Um, right, anyway. Uh, bear pelts. Uh, no. Um, actually, no, yes. I'll take a bear pelt. I'll tell you why. Because I need to make you a backpack, mate. Um, we'll take the claws. I'll give you some of this to carry in just a second as well. We'll read it. Um, what is on your mind? Uh, I need to give you some stuff. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. In the long run, yes. Probably, maybe. Just carry the stuff, man. Come on. Um. Here, bear pelt. And um. Well, all this venison. Don't eat it. We need it. All set. Actually, how much more of it do I need? Uh, I need thirteen. So I need another eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Five. Five. We need another five. I'm not very good at maths. Are you any good at maths, Inigo? Because I'm not. Uh, oh, look. There we go. Make that another four. Okay. Well, there wasn't a cave here, but there's a path leading up this way. Oh. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. Who's this? Hello? You're not attacking me on sight. That is both a surprise and a relief. Hello? Have you seen any caves around here? You do? Um... Uh, okay, you... Look, I'm sorry to bother you, it's just... It's a bit rude to just go to sleep when someone's introducing themselves, you know. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Uh... Right. Okay, understood. You hunt Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches. But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. 
Right. Um, who's dead, though? <laughs> um, so you're a vigilant of Stand I? Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. I see. None escape the vigil. All come into the light. Sworn enemies of Daedra and eyebrows, apparently. Well then. No, you guys, there was a flame astronaut like just down the road. Should go deal with that. I mean, I've dealt with it now, but I'm just saying. You could, uh, you could be doing a bad job. Um, hell, there's a bear down the road. There were two bears. Now that is quite a view, is it not? Look at that. <gasps> Ugh, there's a ancient Nordic ruin up there. What do you reckon's inside it? Probably, probably dead things that aren't quite this dead. This air is pure and clean. Good. Yes, my friend. Any thoughts? My nose likes this place even more than I do. Good. It smells nicer than Riften, at least. I'll say that much. Let us go. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go. Let's go find this cave. I don't think we're in. I think we should go back down the way we came, honestly. I, uh... I don't think we're in the right place, you know. Could be wrong, actually. Well, either way. Let's try and do this relatively methodically. So, we've... We've had a look at this mountainside. For the most part. Oh, there always will be more bunny rabbits, yeah. Okay, house. And... Yes, let's keep going. Cave entrance, cave entrance, cave entrance. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a cave entrance. Cave entrance. Skiba. Release. Again, it's, it's just just a skiver, mate. Calm down. Caves, 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 caves. I think it's over here on this side of the mountains we're after. Maybe not. Not sure. Gonna keep looking for caves. Cave. To Spring Canyon. Did you just hear that? What? What? Um. What's going on, mate? Uh, friend of yours? Okay, whoever she is, she's got some large blunt instrument and she's killing lots of wolves with it. Yours, okay, um, and it goes made the decision for us. Nicely done. Oh, no, there's more of them. Oh, dear. Behind you, Inigo! Apparently, you're about as observant as I am. Uh, scaled armor. Neither of us can wear that. Leather braces, though. You could wear those. Do you want a shield? I am here for you. Let's see you put up a 
Okay, we're not done yet, apparently. Um. Ah! Only I get to do the flame thing. That's the rules. Okay, now we're actually done, I think. Dwarven armor. Stupidly heavy. Kind of valuable. Padded fur hood. Yeah. Steel cuff boots, steel mace. Hey. You want to talk? You want me to lighten your load? Got things for you. And uh, for some reason. Oh, no, no. Okay, battle's over. Good. <laughs> uh, oh, are you carrying too much already as well? Bother. Um. Are you carrying anything we don't need, right? We don't need this hunting bow. You've got your ebony bow. Actually, no, you're using the hunting bow, though. That's the thing. It's your ebony bow we don't need. Ah, oh, why are you carrying that around with you, man? Um. Alright, sod the cave troll pelts. I don't even care anymore. Um. I will drop them. And in the meantime, have some braces. Have this padded fur hood. And have this shield as well. What's next? There you go. We still need to find some decent boots, but uh where's where where, 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 where the... we need that. We're holding on to the bear um pelt because I can make you a backpack out of it, but um right. Do you have anything else? No. Where's the other one? There was another one. Where did they get to? The one with the big hammer. Did you see where they where they fell down? I can't find them in a go. That was great uncle's accent. Um Aha! Found you. There you are. And you got a backpack! And an orcish warhammer. Yikes. An ale. Thank you for the uh, skooma. No. Um. Here they go. There you are. Uh huh. I have a backpack for you. I will bear your burdens gladly. What little of them you can bear, anyway. Uh. There you go. All set. Hooray! Excellent. And now I do not. I officially don't need this stupid. <sighs> Where is it? Um. Oh, did I already drop it somewhere? Kind of looks like I did. All right, never mind then. Um, don't need any of these pelts. So, yes, anyway. Right, so I have a distinct feeling. Don't ask me why, but I have a distinct feeling that that's not the cave we're looking for. It's definitely not. So let's keep looking. It's all gone a bit quiet. Where'd that merchant run off to? Could have done with selling a few of my things to him. There's a horse. Without a saddle. Or anything. And that is a gateway... I think possibly to Morrowind, which means we're probably not in the right area. <laughs> um... Okay. Perhaps we should turn around. Um, does that lead? Oh, that leads up the hill to the, uh, the vigilant of Stendar bit, doesn't it? Your homeland is a feast for the eyes. I rather happen to agree with you, actually. There's a lot of things I don't like about my homeland, but there's a lot of things I do, and the view is one of them. What's the time? It seems like it's getting kind of late. Yeah, 4.29 p.m. We should hurry up our search. Oh, okay. I think I found a cave, but we also found the rest of these bandits that were attacking us. Uh, okay. Ooh, no. Arch is bad. Arch is bad. Arch is very bad. I, uh, the feeling is definitely mutual in this case, mate. Thank you very much. Whew. 
bloody archers. Um, boots, boots. Finally, here we go. I am here for you. I will bear your burdens gladly. Uh, here you go. There you are. Wonderful. We'll ditch these. We don't need them anymore. Oh. If you don't mind, I mean, unless you're particularly attached to them. Set. No, good. Okay. Uh, right. I do think, my dear chat, that this is what we're after. Look at that waterfall. And hey, look, technically, the cave is behind the waterfall, so. I fell in love with a pretty bandit girl once. She robbed my heart, then ate it in front of me. What? You have something to say? No, 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 just, just any additional thoughts? I'm thinking, what is Mr. Dragonfly thinking? Probably something similar to what I'm thinking, okay. actually. Let's um, get back to it. Okay, so. Let's, um. Let's try and be relatively quiet, shall we? I'm sure it'll only last for all of about 10 seconds, but it's worth making the effort, okay? Uh, maybe I should. Not light my fingers. Maybe they, maybe they keep seeing me because of that, right? Not because I make an entire kitchen's worth of noise everywhere I go. Okay. It's just... Ah, there we go. Mushrooms. Yeah, there's more of them. Apples? No. Sacks of flour? Even more no. Let's be very, very quiet, shall we? Okay, there's one. Talking to himself, I hope. Yes, let's see if we can sneak around, shall we? Oh, crap. They're all waking up. Mate, uh, it's time for you to uh, do what you do best. Time to end. Well done. Let's quickly deal with him. And sorry, I set you on fire there, I think. Oh no, that was hurt. I'll deal with the archer. Oh, there's also... Ah! Um, I'll, I'll take one of these and... One of these, I suppose. Maybe maybe one of these as well. Um. Oh, this should be the bandit chief. Oh, archer's back up. Archer's down. Whoa. Oh, we're absolutely naked. Okay. Drink the stamina. Okay. I missed. I'm sorry. I missed. I'm trying. Drink another one. Okay. Yeah. Finish her off, then. Okay. Well, we're alive. For some reason, I seem to have the words I'm on fire burned into my head. Um... You look a little bit cross. Look, if I accidentally hit you, it wasn't on purpose. It's the very definition of accidental, right? Nord male. Hobok. Halbuck. Um, would you prefer that shield? Would that be an improvement? I don't really care for it very much. I think I, I don't like the whole painted shield aesthetic, you know. 
Um, Falmy. Yeah. Spell research for alchemists. Huh. Are we? Are we good, mate? You're something on your mind? No, no. You just looked like you were a bit cross. I'm afraid not. No, good. Okay, good. Right. Bloody archer. Orcish arrows, is it? Um. All right. No bell hammer, though. I can't fail to notice. Uh. There you go. Let me know if you see any. You don't have a head. Um. Let me know if you see any. Um. Hammers. Uh. Oh, no hammer on you. Hello. What have we here? All right. Oh, it's secret passages. What we have here. I, I know. I know. Um. Battle of Sankator teaches two-handed, huh? All right. I'll have a read of it. I'll have that as well. Uh, I need a bigger backpack. Also, that is a trap. But... Oh! Here we go. Yes. Are you any good at um, picking locks? Fair enough. Dude, could you pick up the pick open the chest? You're the boss, dude. Okay, lead the way. Blessed Cyrodiilic Iron Batlax. Ugh, there's no way we're carrying that. Um, actually, you might be able to. Are you gonna try and use it though? If I give it to you? Well, I mean, fair enough. If you if you're any good with it, then fair enough. Um, you could pick locks, dude. I don't. I don't know what I would have done without you. You want to talk? Uh, yes. Uh, things. Okay. Let us see what we have. Indeed. Uh, this, and also, uh, possibly some venison, mate. Um, or can you actually not carry anything else at all? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, we are. What can I drop? Damn this bead keg! No. Um. Sliced goat's cheese. Uh. All right. Fine. We're having lunch. Pretty good team, I reckon. So far, so good, mate. Actually, yeah. Um. I was kind of thinking the same thing. What is it with these guys and skulls? Uh. Right. So. Oof. About this secret passage. I'm sorry. For one thing, okay, that axe is massive. For another, what's with the tactical rolls? Captain Inigo Price. Alright, fine. Tactical rolls are a thing. Now, apparently. Ooh. Ah! There it is. God, it weighs 29, mate. Uh. <sighs> Spell term frostbite. I uh, already got that, but health poison average. Life Nar. Report Life Nar's death to his family at Hardwood Mill on the western edge of Lake. Boom! It's like the information was just beamed directly into my head, Inigo. Like, I don't know how I know this, but... I need to go there and inform them of his death. Uh... Right. So... Here's the thing. I'm now carrying a gigantic hammer that I can't really afford to carry, and also you have no free carrying capacity either. Which leaves us in a bit of an awkward situation, does it not? Um... Uh-huh. What is yours is mine. Yeah, um... I really wanted to disenchant that. Damn it. 
that would be really useful for going crawling around in Nordic barrows with. Uh... Dude, your ebony bow is a problem. I know you're very attached to it, but it's a problem. Oh, bear pelt. We don't need that. Um... That's not helping, though. That's just a bear pelt. Um, uh, uh, all the venison as well. That's not helping either. Uh, fine. It's going to have to go. Otherwise, we can't carry the, the bloody bell Speak hammer. To me. You give me best equipment, yes? I'm giving you this bell hammer. Please try not to, you know, do anything silly with it because it's very valuable and it's an antique. Okay. All set. Actually, I've got to be honest. Yes, my friend. Having just given it to you. Sorry to muck you okay, about like this, mate, but see what we I actually kind of want to have a look at it first. <laughs> Sorry. Um. What? Oh, oh, it's I. I see. Right. I, could, I didn't give it to you in the first place because it's a. It's a quest item. <laughs> okay. Let us get back to it. Well, there it is. It's very, um, impressive. Look at the evil markings all over and stuff. That's an antique, and you go, oh, maybe I shall tell you about the Sixth House one of these days. Read about them in a book, you see. Very fascinating book, too, while we're, well, dead, while we're at it. Um, but not today, not right now. Only problem is... Yeah, we've got a problem of the carrying this capacity variety. I will bear your burden so, okay, the carrying capacity conundrum has been solved finally. Maybe we should ready our weapons just in case. No, I, I think we'll be fine, mate. Um, basically, we got rid of all the venison, uh, which is a shame. But we can always find more deer, and um, yeah, by, and by got rid of, I mean we ate all of it between us and uh, my belt's feeling a little tight now but um corundum or vein huh well we, ugh, we can't carry anything else like anything else at all so we need to go um as tempting as it is to mine a bunch of that uh because there could be fossils and gemstones and all sorts when you go swinging a pickaxe around as it turns out but anyway um yeah right so Let's finally get out of here, shall we? Hmm. Actually... You know what? It's getting kind of late. Maybe we should just stop here for the night. And we could just, I don't know, throw the bodies in the secret passage and shut it behind them or something so it doesn't smell. I mean, it's a cave, but at the same time, it's not Riften, so I don't really want to go back to Riften. Um, not with this keg of stolen mead in my uh, in my backpack, anyway. Don't ask how I fit it in there, by the way. It's a mystery even to me. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll head straight to Iverstead. Yeah, makes sense to you. We'll go to Iverstead. Um, and hand over the mead. And then from there, we'll figure whatever we're doing out. In fact, I think in Iverstead is where the court mage left some of the stuff. So we'll find that while we're there too. Yeah? Seems seems like a good idea to you? I think so. All right, let's do that then. Okay. And you, Mr. as well. There you go. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Pud. Right. Now we've tied it up a bit. I was thinking, um, ooh, cooking pot. You're much of a cook, Inigo. I consider myself quite a, quite a, um, quite an accomplished cook myself, actually. Uh, let's, also, are you fond of rabbit? Because we've got lots of rabbit. Sorry, what were you saying? Never mind. Um, as we sit here, uh, a few things I want to do. First is get out of this and do a bit of alchemy. 
Okay, with that out of the way, I've made a whole heap of mostly useless potions, I have to admit. Although I made lots and lots of poison. Huge quantities of poison. Vast quantities of poison. Hopefully I won't drop it anywhere. Um, and also some restore health. Uh, sadly, no restore magicka. It's proving somewhat elusive when it comes to finding the ingredients for it. Um, but I did make... Where are they? A whole bunch of potions of fortified two-handed that um, also caused me to resist fire. Uh, that's an accidental side effect. That wasn't on purpose. Um, but useful if I find myself in a position where I have to, well, try and repeat that embarrassment with the bandit chief, shall we say. Um, except hopefully if I drink this first, it won't be quite as embarrassing. That's the idea anyway. Um, so, cool. Okay. Anyway, I've got lots of potions now. Uh, the other thing was I also, in the process of doing that, gained experience with a capital E. Um, Magicka. Yes. I also have four perks. I've been picking them up for increasing skills in addition to um, leveling up. So, destruction. Destruction, dual casting. Absolutely. What else? Alchemy, nothing available there. Speech, nothing yet. Line armor, nah. Two-handed, ooh. Bloodletter. Great swords do 10% more damage and have a 10% chance of doing 10% bonus could it be that maybe um, anything else no smithing no that's kind of it really that's all I've got perks available in except for light armor and I've got three to spare so I guess all right then fine it's not like I haven't been practicing a bit cool uh, now what was the other thing carry weight increased <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, um, the other thing was I found not the translation tome, spell tome. No, 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 no. Spell research for alchemists. Uh, da, 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 da. While most are introduced to spell research via an interest in magic and spells, some may be introduced through other interests and practices. In addition, there are multiple uses for the techniques learned while using studying spells and spell archetypes. A prime example of this is alchemy. A significant revelation to know here is spell archetypes are not used solely in spells. It appears that so on, so on and so forth. Yes, Alembic's Cauldrons. I kind of already know most of this. I might have even read it in this exact book. Uh, okay, cool. Detailed guide and all that stuff. Very nice. Um, anything else? The power of whistling. Yeah, here we go. Tactical wordless communication for adventurers by Mildred Winslow. What well, is a whistle? It is communication. A good hearty whistle can be heard miles away. It can ride the wind. It can penetrate walls. It is a language without barriers. It is power. In recent years, the noble art of whistling has sadly been demoted to the realm of mere entertainment. Ha! <laughs> well, no longer. Here in these pages, I aim to show you the true power your lips possess. Getting started. One, learn how to whistle. You cannot whistle. Stop reading now. So, so there's nothing lovelier than a whist little whistling while adventuring. Purse those lips and keep your spirits up. Okay. I think I've, um, I think I get the idea. So, um, whistling. Yes. So, okay. Uh, like this then. I will wait and watch. Aha! And you'll wait there if I... Except you're not waiting, are you? Yes, you are. There you go. He's waiting now. There you go. You wait there and... Whistle and I will come to you, my friend. Yeah! There you go. And if I were to do this... Yes? You would go and do something for me. I am with you, my friend. Very good. Um, and if I do this... I will attack on sight. And if I put it away... Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. Eh -heh. Very simple, isn't it? Okay, very good. I like it. All right. Um, 
a very elegant solution to communication indeed. All right, um, so now then, yeah, I was thinking I might do a bit of research um, before bed. As soon as I get my notes together, it takes a minute. There we go. Uh, let's research for three hours. Three hours have passed. Okay. I imagine, yes, my, uh, my brain is a bit tired now. So, uh, bedtime then. And you go, I suppose you can have that one over there. I'll have this one. Yeah, sure. Um, well, um, night, nighty night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, it is a lovely morning, is it not? All right. Um, okay. I think we should get going. Um, I have to admit, perhaps eating all that venison was not a very good idea. That cave smells something awful right now. Um, let's, let's go, shall we? Leave the scene of the crime, shall we? Uh, okay, so... How do I keep missing these? Ugh. Anyway, probably because I'm being shot at by arrows when I when I run past them usually. Okay, well let's go this way. This general sort of direction. I must admit, I'm not entirely sure 100% where I'm going, but let's just keep going somewhere until eventually we um, end up where we want to be. Yeah. Seems like a good idea to me. Ah, oh, dear. I've got some spare carry capacity. Maybe we should start replenishing the venison stocks. Gotcha. I'll never get the other one. They do not know who they were messing with. Yeah, and I'm hearing this weird... Like I heard the deer die about ten seconds after it died, mate. It's really weird. I don't like it. Hello. It's not. These ones don't seem immediately eager to pick a fight with us, so let's give them a wide berth, shall we? Yeah, just uh, enjoying the lovely morning. I'm going for a walk. No need to bother you. No. Not interested. Um, all gone very quiet again. Oh, butterfly. Oh, another butterfly. And more flowers. Ah. Ugh, okay, I'm I'm still having something wrong with my ears, mate. I think maybe I got bashed on the head a little bit too far hard back there or something. Give me give me a minute here. Okay, I, I feel I feel a bit better now. The light here is really quite gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway. Good morning, my friend. Any thoughts? I'm thinking I look stupid. Oh. Oh, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. I guess we'll have to try and find you some better clothes. Sorry. That's all we've got for now. Anything else? No. My mind is a song without words right now. We'll 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 find you we'll find you some better clothes, mate. Um oh, I mean or at the only or... love the morning. So many possibilities everywhere I look. Good, good, good. I, just, I don't have anything other than what I'm wearing, so... Um, sorry. Anyway, um... I hear a nern root. There you are, you git. Uh oh I heard arrows. Arrows hitting something. I'm 
very finely attuned to the sound of arrows hitting things. What have you found? What have you found? Um. Ouch! This is why... This is why... Ow. Ouch! So, it's really... It's, ow! Did you get him? I think you got him. Good. Um, would you prefer White Hood? I mean, there's some scaled armor, but the pro problem is, mate, you're not skilled with it, so it'd be pointless giving it to you. Actually, something on your mind? Let's see, archery twenty-three. Can you steal both steel shields, steel armor, scaled armors? Oh, you can use scaled armor. Well then, hold okay, on. Then. What is on your mind? What are we trading? Uh, I'm gonna give you something hopefully you like better. Um, not the wizard hat. Although, part of me is unbelievably curious to see what you'd look like in one. Um, there you go. Is that better? Let us go. You certainly look more Nordic. Mm-hmm. The rift smells arboreal. I love it. We should definitely get What's you a cloak. Next? Definitely get you a cloak. Anyway. Is very pretty. It is. It is. It's very pretty. All the bright red grass and the trees and everything. It's yeah, it's pretty great, honestly. Um Okay, so. Where are we going? What is this? Yeah, get out of here, Fox. Lost Prospect Mine. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a mine. Might have something valuable in it. Should we have a look? All right. Oh, so far so ordinary. Lots of sacks of tomatoes for some reason. Ooh, it's a skeleton. Um, that is a big axe. It doesn't appear to be hostile. This does not mesh very well with my general understanding of skeletons, mate. I've got to be honest. I. We should just. I think we should just leave it alone for now. Journal Hadrias. Bird of Hearthfire, 4E200. You know, just when you think you've hit bottom, sometimes the edge will throw you a rope. Since the rebels took over the mines in these parts, I haven't been able to find work anywhere. And along comes Burn, my old partner with a deed to some old gold mine out in the hills. Gold mine, eh? It's been good, too long since we did a job together for what, what, four years now? Nice to finally work with someone who knows the business. Sounds like a place with a steel too. Right. So this burn fellow just went missing. Um What have we got? More mushrooms. This doesn't look safe. 
It doesn't, does it, actually? You're right. This might collapse any second now you mention it. Could you, um... Would you awfully mind if you moved out of the way, mate, before it does collapse on top of us? That'd be, that'd be great. Could we, could we please? Thank you. Um... Kind of, but notice the skeleton still hasn't attacked us. Steel mace, eh? Pickaxe. I already got a pickaxe. Don't need another one. Uh, well, there's not a lot here. Certainly no gold. Um, he hello? Who is it? What business does it have here? Does it know me by name? I only know it by heart. Skiel the Grey, they call me, but you can call me Horace. As for you, you are the one they call Pessiel the Pink. That is what I should know. That is my business. Um... Actually, my name's Nils. Well, that's a stupid name. Oi. It doesn't even rhyme with Erking Thad. That's no way to address a fellow performance artist. What? Um... What? What? You're... You're... Skeletons don't talk. Skeletons don't talk. And if they, even if they did, they wouldn't talk like that. You don't even have any lungs. How? I'm a skeleton. How is it I can talk? That's how. Listen and repeat. Just like history. Fine history we've got here. Dwarven make, am I right? But I'm sworn to repeat some things more than others. Like, I've got a bad feeling about this. Or... Make it quick, and, hmm? Um, doesn't that limit what you could say? Well, for variety, sometimes I say, make it quick, hmm? I've got a bad feeling about this curved sweet roll from Hammerfell. <laughs> it all makes more luck than sense, and it's better to be lucky than stuck doing guard duty. Just ask my cousin. Um, I... I, I was referring to the fact that skeletons don't have tongues. Not all skeletons are alike. You of all people should know that, Pessio the Pink. You're half skeleton, if I recall correctly. Snails and. I forget what the other half Technically, was, you're right. But in any event, I have a tongue, but not a cheek to put it in. I lost it and the rest of my flesh during that one year. You know, the red one. Uh. You mean the volcanic eruption from two centuries ago? Precisely. It, wait, two centuries? Has it been that long since I've been to the Cloud District? Must have had something to do with that curse. Someone cursed the day I was born once, but a lot of things happened on that day, and now they're all damned. This particular curse was hurled at me when I was applying to be a court... The robes and the beards. Uh, court wizard? No, that's not it. Not enough bells on their hats. In any case, I was applying to be a court... Uh, something or other. A significant other, perhaps. Significant given the time. There was a sprinkle of gloom dust in Morrowind, but I knew my act in a warm fire would get that chill out of the air. Well, uh, what warm fire? Well... Well, specifically, I would juggle three fireballs. Then I would fling them over my head and swallow them one by one as they fell. Then I would make a face as if I had ingested something incredibly hot. Then rush over to a flagon of water and douse it on my head. Oh, you were a jester. Right. Okay. Um. That makes... that. Uh... That would make for an interesting performance. Indeed. First era comedy at its finest. 
Now, I didn't claim to be the best jester in Morrowind. My cousin's flatulence had that honor. All I asked was for a fair chance. Thus, I was lucky to be standing on the crenels of Fort Pelagiad when a great belch could be heard in the distance and stars rained from the sky. I witnessed so much chaos. Houses on fire, heads on fire, people running into each other, that sort of thing. I lost half my face, too. Hilarious! Um... How did you swallow fireballs without hurting yourself? That is a secret. One I will divulge to you, because I seem like the naive sort. I filled my mouth with snowberries. Of course, this is as plain as the blacksmith's wife. The real trick is after the dousing of water, when the jester belches a cloud of grey smoke. The, the grey smoke might not in fact be a coincidence. Yes, perhaps that's where I got the name Scale the Grey. And not my grey hair, or my burnt ashen face. Although my fellow Nords did like to call me Grey Skin, but you know what they say, insults are only skin deep. <sighs> what manner of existence are you exactly? That's hard to say. I used to be mortal, but I prefer not to be. Lightly boned means light on my feet. I like that. It happened after I was chased out of Morrowind for making everyone laugh. And I lost half my face in the process. Where did you go after you, after you left Morrowind? I'm having a conversation with a skeleton. Who is also a jester. What is going on? Um, wh where did you go after you left Morrowind? Well, they say everything in Tamriel flows to Black Marsh. I'm in everything, so I flowed there. Sloth Point, I think they called it. Twisted trees, a matrix of vines flying pieces of black grain. So I knelt down by a particularly gruesome tree, took off my boots, and let my feet fight the air for who smelled worse. Then I took a nap. The last thing I remember before waking up was the wind swimming through my toes, then nipping at them, then eating them. A conjurer woke me up just as the flesh flies were making dinner out of my heel. I said, Hail, summoner, conjure me up a warm grave, would you? Instead, he just rifled through my tunic and ran off. I hope he wasn't planning any thievery, as he would have been vastly disappointed. Um. That still doesn't explain how you've become what you are. It doesn't? Well, it shouldn't. I am what I am because of a healthy diet and daily exercise. There is no other explanation. <laughs> um... Uh, perhaps you were a skilled healer if you managed to survive those ordeals? I've got a lot of respect for the Restoration School. Skyrim could use a lot more valid schools of magic. But if I were a healer, I would have healed my head instead of tumbling head over heels. Somersaults on my trade, and cartwheels. By Ismir's eyebrows, I do love cartwheels. Such transcendent comedy. <laughs> right. Uh, so Morrowind, Black Marsh, and where did you lose your arms? Elsewhere. Don't be ridiculous. I lost them in Valinwood, along with my chest, on a patch of growing mold. Perhaps you'd like me to tell you about that, too? Naturally. Well, I remember walking through the forest, a river of sweat on my brow. The more I wiped it, the more my gloves started to drown. So I removed my gloves, and I lay in a patch of moss. But I was still hot, so I took off my trousers, too. Then my tunic started chafing, so off that went. Then I started to notice tiny worms of smoke rising from my chest. It felt like a flame spell was scorching my back. I said, whoa, 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 watch the magic. But the mole did not listen. I would learn a thing or two the hard way. The first thing was that the glow was caused by some sort of acid. The second was that acid burns. Okay, um, let's, let's go back to my earlier question, shall we? Fine, go, and don't come back to these. Okay. What exactly are you doing in here? Well, it's a short story. Let me begin with chapter one, the 396,000. Oh dear. 
It all began when I was lying about in a cave, minding my own business plan to start an underground school operation. The first few weeks it was doing rather well, but I had to keep my eyes open because I knew the orcs would swoop down at any time. What did you do? Indeed. They take to mining like storm cloaks to bigotry. And sure enough, <laughs> they came. Given I was outnumbered, I decided to play dead, which is usually a dead giveaway that someone had died. Namely, me. In fact, one of the orcs marched right on over to me. I thought he was going to disrespect the law and disrespect me. Only he casted his fancy magic somewhere else, right into the orb upon it. It turns out he wasn't trying to kill me. He was trying to make me rich. Because when he chipped at the vein, out came diamonds. But then the sneak thief tried to keep the gems for himself. Didn't make an oyster of difference when I leapt up and scared him. Um... Do you mean... Make a, make a world of difference? That's what I said. What are you implying? That the world is your oyster, but not mine? Um, no. Good. I, I hate oysters. Like casting pearls before swine. I am no person with pink after all. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I was just insulted or not. I, uh, why do they call you Scale the Grey? Hmm, that's a bad question. A better question would be why they no longer call me Scale the Blonde. Why don't they call you Scale the Blonde? Great question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it must be the hair. Once upon a time, my hair was the color of the sun in old paintings. Then it was gray. Then it fell out. That is to say, it all fell into place, and fell onto the floor. That's why I mind the dirt. It knows where the blondes are buried. Uh. Um. We could uh, keep stepping on it. I'll show the filthy earth who's king. That's a good start, although completely on the wrong foot. We need to put our best wood forward, the one made of iron and designed for chipping ore. Um. I, um, I have this strange urge to ask you to come with me, and yet at the same time, I feel like walking around town with a skeleton in tow would attract unwanted questions. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... If I ever find myself in need of a skeleton skill, uh, I'll come and let you know, shall I? Yes? Okay, good. A skeleton in a black hood with blue glowing eyes that talks. I suppose he's got a scythe around here somewhere and a horse called Binky. Which way is out of here? Can you go, which way is out? Is it this way? Uh, no. Uh, this way. Yeah, here we go. Thank goodness for that. I really am just a lightning rod for the insane, aren't I? 